Hello, I'm Mark Reed. Today I want to do a very brief tutorial on one of the most basic aspects of being an air gunner, and that's how to fill your tank. There's so many new people coming into our great hobby, but I didn't know when I first started how to actually do something this simple. So I want to take you through the individual steps on how to fill a tank, whether it's small, medium, or large. Okay, step one. How do you get air into a tank anyway? Well, first off, never use a hand pump because you'll never do it again, I promise. So you need some form of a high pressure compressor to do it. And I'm gonna use a Young Hing because that's what I have and it works pretty well. So you need a high pressure compressor to get air into whatever type of tank you're gonna use. Okay, step two. I need to know how much air is in my tank or at what pressure before I start this process. So to do that, I have a very inexpensive high pressure gauge. This one goes to 6,000 PSI that I have hooked up to a regular high pressure air hose with a Foster connector. And I'm gonna put it here to connect it to my hose. And then I wanna know how much air is in the tank, so I have to hook it to the tank. So I'm gonna hook it to the tank. All right, now. Every tank has a valve that controls the airflow. So my valve is off, it's tightened down. I'm gonna unscrew my valve, unleash the pressure into this hose. And it's gonna tell me that I have about 3,200 PSI in this tank. I'm gonna shut my valve off. I know what I'm dealing with now. And then I'm gonna bleed the air out so I can release this hose. There we go. Now I've let the pressure off so I can now disconnect. Okay, so 3200 PSI in this tank. I'll have to figure out what I want to fill it to. We'll do that in just a minute. If the tank that you're filling doesn't have a reliable gauge, I would use a separate gauge like I just showed. But if you have a good gauge on your tank, you can also use what's called a deadhead, which is just a stop for your foster fitting and you just put it in and make sure it's good and secure. And then when you release the valve on your tank to allow pressure to release into the hose, it should show an accurate measurement on the gauge that's on your tank. Okay, so one bar, B-A-R, is equal to 14.5 PSI. And so if I'm converting PSI to bar, I know I have 3,200 PSI in this tank, which is equal to 220 bar. So I think I want to use my compressor to raise my tank up to 300 bar. Step number three, and it really should be step number one, is to think about safety and anything that I can do to make this whole process as safe as possible. We're dealing with very high pressure air, and so if you think about it, if this hose became detached in the process of filling up to 4,500 PSI, it could become a very, very serious weapon and it could hurt me. So I've never really heard anybody talk about this kind of thing, but it just makes me feel better. If I can kind of secure this a little bit better, I'm just gonna use a zip tie and I'm gonna tie down this hose so that just in case in the process of it filling, something happened and it became detached, it won't flail as much and it will have a less chance of hurting me. Okay, step four, you have to get the air from the compressor into the tank. And so I'm just gonna take a hose that connects the end point of my compressor, which is this gold filter, which filters out any kind of water, hopefully, before it gets to the tank. I'm gonna take this high pressure hose and hook it into the foster fill of my tank. And I wanna make sure all these connections are very secure. All right, the valve's still closed. We're getting ready to go with the compressor. Okay, I'm gonna get started with the compressor. So I'm gonna turn on my fans, because that's the way I do it. And then I'm gonna turn on the compressor and I'll be watching the gauge. And once it hits 3200 PSI, I'm gonna open the valve on the tank. So let's do it. Okay, the pressure in the hose is now 1,000 PSI. 
They just hit 3,000. All right, 3,200. I'm opening the valve. Watch the pressure rise on our gauge here until it reaches 300 bars. Okay, we're right at 300 bars, so I'm going to shut it down and turn off the valve. And I'm going to bleed the lines to take the pressure off. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna let the water run through the system to cool down the compressor. All the pressure's off now. I can disconnect our hose, just like that. So now we have a tank that's filled to 300 bar that we can use in filling our gun tanks. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Uh, thank you for joining me.